In this video, I'll be showing you how to build one of these. This is a dial indicator hooked to a piece of wood. It's got also a wooden piece that fits in the slot, and it works on the other side. Someone wanted me to do this video, and I've been wanting one that's longer, because when I go to slot panels, and they get real wide, this here, of course, bottom out, and then on the other hand, not this time, but sometimes it's uh, too tight. So, I picked out a piece of white ash and a piece of bamboo. And I'll be reusing the dial indicator and this T knob and, of course, the bolt. Nothing but wooden threads drilled through here, just uh, tapped out. It strips out. <laughs> for this piece here. I could reuse this but for the video I wanted to show you every aspect so that's why I've done it. So this here will make more than I need and I guess I'll move on to the rest of the milling process. Okay, I've located center here just this. That should be accurate enough. find the center the other way. It's usually pretty easy. Somewhere in the neighborhood of one and three quarters. That should do well. I'll also need to be finding out the size of this hole. Looks like it's two and an eighth. No problem. I mark the location of the slot I want right on the board and for simplicity I'm just going to use a table saw for the slot and multiple passes. I've got a stop block set up over here and I raise the blade up a little extra. Now I'll begin.
That slot looks good enough. The bottom's not real pretty, but this was quicker than setting up the router. 3 8 was my goal. Let's see what I got here. Close enough. A few thousandths over. Okay. Also, want to point out that this hole is rather sloppy, but I'm going to put a screw in it to squeeze it. See how this flexes. Screw will take care of that and it'll squeeze this thing in place. What I need to do next is create a relief for this here so that it can lay in there like the rest of it. That's what I'll do next. That's something else I wanted to mention. This thing here, it's good to be able to get a hold of it, but you won't be using it much because you've got all this adjustment by hand. Also wanted to mention that I've got some quarter 20 T knobs that sit a little lower than these. These are 5 16 18 T knobs. So I'm gonna be using it on my new one so it'll fit in my drawer a little better. I'll cut a piece of this threaded rod the length I need. To make this work. And now to knock up those corners. Okay, the first hole I made, this bit here, looks like about a little over an eighth. Okay, five thirty seconds. I drilled through a little extra to mark the center for the hole that likely holds the threads. And I'm gonna switch to a countersunk just so my screw can go in a little bit further. And that should do well. Okay. This drill bit is uh, exactly an eighth. And the shank is exactly where the threads is a little over. Should be enough holding power for it. I went with a one and three quarter inch screw. See how this works out. Or if it works out.
Notice when it went to squeeze, it wanted to squeeze this out of this slot here. So I'm just going to take a chisel. Take some of that out. Okay, what we got here, because this hole was sloppy, when I go to tighten it down, it squeezes this up out of here, even though it's not the wrong size. So, to clean it up with the chisel, I'm still not satisfied. So, I'll run this through the saw and make this slot wider, just right here. And that should do well. That's what I wanted. That'll work. Now, for the T-knob. And now, to cut this piece to length. I'm just going to use the other one for reference. And cut it real similar to the same length. I'm going to guess the center and then flip it and see how close I get. middle of those two lines, which looks like it's about a quarter, will be where I drill the hole. Okay, a machine shop would want to use a 7 seconds drill bit for quarter inch threads, but for me, 3 sixteenths is good, because this is wood. Close enough. After adding a washer, I'm just going to sandwich this up here together. I don't want this to come down where it's going to scratch up my bottom of this miter slot. So I'm just going to mark it like this. And I'm going to take it over there and hacksaw it. Remembering that I want it shorter, I'm going to come right past the tape by the 16th for a thread or so, and that's where I'll start. I have to run this to a grinder to get it started. Okay. Maybe not. And when it's tightened down all the way, I want it to still be not poking out the bottom. Looks like about an eighth of an inch, so that'll work well. Where the fit goes, that's actually, that's good, that it fits that good. As far as sanding the, this here goes, so it'll fit better. I don't think I will, because that's a good fit, and that's hard to achieve. ready for use and I've got more reach now than I did with the other so I want to thank you for watching this video I like this one much better than my other one if you don't have one of these they're really nice and they're easy to make and dial indicators are very affordable eventually sawdust will uh, make them where they stick a little bit 
but you can wipe them down and hold the shafts like I just did. And they'll work just like new. And also if you want these edges coated, or the whole thing for that matter, you can use Danish oil or whatever you like. I tried to use the simplest procedure I come up with for this unit. And I think it turned out good for what it is. Thanks for watching this video. Press like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.